Hey girl, hey! I finally filmed my follow me, she's my makeup. First of all, if you don't follow me on IG, follow me, stop what you're doing right now and follow me on Instagram. And starting off with primer, 58% of you guys chose Fenty Beauty Primer, so that's what I'm using today. 42% chose Milk Makeup Primer. I wasn't mad at this selection. I haven't used Fenty Primer in a minute, so I was fine with it. And uh, I'm just using the sponge to get all the makeup, I mean get all the primer in my skin. I really had a lot of fun filming this video. My followers choose my makeup basically if you don't know what it is, my followers, I gave them two options and they chose whichever one got the most votes is the type of makeup or product that I'm using and it was a lot of fun. I'm putting on more primer because I feel like when you use a sponge, the sponge kind of like soaks up the primer. So I just put on a little bit more and my smile lines are out of control. So I put a little more on my smile lines. And then we go into eyebrows. I have not done my eyebrows in forever. 69% of you guys voted for me to do my eyebrows. 31% said no, I should not. And I put at the bottom that a fun fact is I normally don't put any product on my eyebrows. So this was really like, I cannot even remember the last time that I did my eyebrows. I'm like, I was kind of struggling a little bit. <laughs> like. That's how long it's been since I've done my eyebrows. And everybody know brows take a long time. Like, there ain't nothing to play with. So, but I did the best that I could. So, yeah, but it was a lot of fun. It was so much fun to like see like what everybody was voting and like seeing like what people like voted for. And y'all was voting. And actually, I gotta give my followers, my IG followers, some props because I actually like this makeup. And I was not mad at the selections. And I was pretty surprised, like, on some of the stuff, like, seeing, like, who chose what. And I was, like, trying to, like, match up because I'm such a makeup artist. I'm such a makeup girl. And I was just, like, matching up like people like seeing like what how I would picture like them wearing that product or like if that's something that I thought that they would choose or if I thought they would choose like the other option. Like this video if you want me to do another one of these and give y'all some more options and join the party if you don't follow me on Instagram. Follow me. How's y'all's year going so far? Do you feel like March is my new year, like for real, for real, like for real, for this time? Or do you like feel like February, you really got it together? Like, cause January was just not it, like at all. Let's chat. Leave me a comment and let me know how you're going with your goals. Are you still working towards your goals? Have you met any of your goals? Let's just Spread some positive vibes, some positive energy, and just let's just see and talk about how our year is going so far. My goal, one of my goals is to post more on YouTube, so I've been trying to do that more, and I'm just still working towards it. Tell y'all so y'all can hold me accountable. So, yeah. Let me know some of your goals in the comments and what you are doing. Also, I don't, I can't remember if I already told you guys this or not, but I have a goal book. So I write down all my goals and my goal book is different from a planner and I love it. So invest in one of those. Oh, so foundation. ABH versus Juvia's Place. Oh my gosh. Like, hey, ABH Foundation Stick 1. 58% of you chose ABH Anastasia Beverly Hills. 42% chose Juvia's Place. I was excited about this. I was pumped about this. I was so happy that you guys chose this because I have not used this ABH Foundation Stick in 
forever. I cannot even remember the last time that I wore this. I think I thought it oxidized. I don't remember why I stopped using it, but I like it. And I don't know if it was the foundation stick or I don't know if it was the Fenty primer, but I noticed that my smile lines weren't as bad with this makeup. And I feel like this foundation stick is very buildable like you can really build up the coverage because that's what I did I like full coverage because I'm a full coverage type of girl but if you're somebody that does not like full coverage or you just want something that really just looks like skin because it really looks like your skin it looks really good if you want something very lightweight then definitely this foundation stick I really really like it and I mean I don't have the best skin but I mean I don't have the worst skin either. A lot of my um, skin imperfections are like dark marks from when I've like had like a breakdown. It's not or just like acne, like acne prone skin but not really just like I don't really have like acne but it's just like I scar. So I mean I do have a pimple. But you see it even like it really looks like skin. How do y'all think? What do y'all think of the APH foundation stick? Like, how do y'all think my skin looks? I think it looks great. I loved it. I was so glad that y'all chose it. Kylie Cosmetics versus Juvia's Place Concealer. Thirty-seven percent of you chose Kylie Cosmetics. Sixty-three said Juvia's Place, and I was not mad about that. I love Juvia's Place Concealer. It's my favorite. The GOAT! Seriously, baby girl. <laughs> this concealer, hey. This concealer, I'm gonna get you back. I really feel like using a, because using a foundation stick it's not liquid so that's why it's not like setting into fine lines like my smile lines or even for you guys if you have like smile lines or like fine lines on your like forehead or like under your eyes a foundation stick is not liquid so the liquid is not setting into my skin that's why I feel like it was the foundation that was the reason why my smile lines weren't as bad when I did my makeup it makes me want to try like another foundation stick so I'm thinking and also I've been using the Juvia's Place foundation for a while so it is time to like try something else so I think I'm on the market for a foundation stick just to see if my theory is right and moving on to setting power powder wow a hundred percent Fenty Beauty Period. <laughs> like, y'all wasn't playing. 100% versus Kylie Cosmetics setting powder. And I was not mad at that. I was like, okay, sis. Like, I was not mad about that. Okay, pause. Let's get into these earrings, though. Like, these bomb ass earrings are from my best friend, Bria. She has an accessory line, 7 by Bria Charlize. Y'all go follow her on Instagram at I am Bria Charlize. Y'all check out her accessory lines if you want some cute earrings. She has some of the best earrings in Dallas. Literally, they are so cute. I love these earrings so much. Very versatile. She has a lot of different styles. And if you just want some popping accessories, go follow my girl. Support my girl. Support black businesses. Support black young beautiful entrepreneurs like yes so this is my girl y'all go support her and yeah go get you some earrings tell your boyfriend to get you some earrings become a bc babe okay now going into what type of eye look? 63% of you chose a cut crease and 37% chose a halo eye. 
that was not shocking to me. And then y'all said y'all wanted the cut crease to be a neutral cut crease instead of a colorful cut crease. Colorful cut crease, 29%. 71 said a neutral cut crease. I was a little like, what? Like, y'all want a cut crease to be neutral? Especially because we just did like some neutral makeup. So I'm like, hmm, do y'all just like neutral? Or like, did y'all not like the last video? Or did you not watch the last video? Make sure you go watch my last video on some soft, pretty glam. If you like neutral makeup, go watch that video. So I'm using the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm just taking a yellow shade, I think it's called Cream Sickle. And I use lighter shades and then I go in to darker shades. So I'm using that brown shade and I'm taking a smaller, denser brush and I'm just going right over my eyelid. And if you press hard enough, not too hard of course, like don't stab yourself, but you can feel for where your eyeball is. So you just want to go right over your eyeball. And you see I'm blending my eyeshadow in the shape of a cut crease already. That way when I cut my cut crease, it all flows together. So just blending it outwards and really just take your time. Build the color up and use a smaller brush so you can really get in there and then I take a more fluffier blending brush and then I just blend everything out as I go. Make sure everything is blended really, really nicely and I'm just blending that brown into that yellow but you don't want to take the brown up too high because you still want the yellow to peek through. If you take the brown up too high, you're not going to be able to see the yellow anymore. So if you want that yellow to peek through, which is what I wanted, you are going to blend it upwards but not too far up. with my nails oh my god these are for Kobe and Gianna rest in peace Ugh, but my nails me and my nail tech we are literally the dream team like I can't lie she she was kind of doubting me a little bit <laughs> when I was telling her my idea she was saying that I should get like um, it on all of my nails and I'm just like I like my nails simple but I like them with a little you know something I don't like a whole bunch of stuff going on with my nails but I like them to be you know different and cute and like sleek and like you know simple but like popping you know so but yeah but we followed through and she made it happen and I just love 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 these are one of my favorite sets of nails the purple and yellow but anyways I'm taking that brick shade and I forgot my nails right but I'm taking that brick shade and I am just putting it in the same place that I put just to add more like definition more more color to the cut crease that brick shade is going in the same place as that brown shade that I put down first and I'm really just buffing it out really blending it out blending it into my crease and upwards and outwards in the shape of a cut crease really dragging it out really blending it out and now i'm cutting my crease with concealer and a flat brush and i'm just looking up to guide me on how how to take my cut crease and then i'm just following with the eyeshadow I use a brush because like to hold to like pull my eye <laughs> because I don't want my hands because you know I get really nervous so I'm shaking while I'm doing a cut crease and I just don't want my handprint to like be in my makeup so I just use a brush just to avoid that and I'm just cutting my crease and ew but ew, I'm never, do not use Hicks Head Edge Control, like, nah sis, this shit flakes up, like ew, like, I do not like Hicks 
edge control, it really like sucks. I can do it. But I try to do like a little swirl, like little crazy thing for my baby hairs. Because I just love baby hairs. Like, so I try to like show out today or something with a little swirl. But you guys chose glitter on the cut crease. And so I use this MAC glitter. I'll link, link it in the description box because I do not know the name of it. But it is a loose glitter and 69% of you voted for yes glitter and 31% of you said no. No glitter. Glitter one. Well, I've been wanting to use this glitter because I recently found it so I wasn't mad about the glitter. And I just put it like in the corner of my eye and of course you all always put glitter glue on first. That's what makes your glue stick and stay on. Glitter glue for mix. Battle, oh no, um, that was bronzer. Bronzer Fenty Beauty one, I was not mad about that at all. I was happy with that, I love Fenty Beauty bronzer. 76% of you said yes, Fenty Beauty. 24% of you voted for MAC, Cosmetics. Fenty one, the Battle of the Infamous ABH, Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlighters. ABH, right, um, ABH and Amrezy, 62% of you voted for that, and then 38% of you voted for the Anastasia Beverly Hills, So Hollywood. Now, I feel like if you voted for So Hollywood, you was like an OG if you know about So <laughs> you, If you know about So Hollywood, then you you been on. Like, you really been on. Because So Hollywood was like that bitch at the time. Like, if you didn't have So Hollywood, you just wasn't it. Like, sorry, sis. The ABH and Emery Z, I'm glad that that won because that highlight is so bomb. Emery Z is so bomb. I love her so much. So, both highlighters are really, really great. Shout out to Anastasia. She's literally so sweet. I met her in person. She's so sweet and so beautiful. So, shout out to her. And now we have blush. 81% of you chose the NARS blush in Orgasm, and 19% of you chose Kylie Cosmetic blush. I love both blushes, so I really didn't care which one, but NARS was such a great choice. I love, 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 love this blush. I haven't used it in a long time, so thank y'all. Shout out to y'all, though. And y'all chose a glossy lip. I'm using the MAC Cosmetics and Aaliyah collection. And that was a gloss. Now I'm using Beauty Supply House lip gloss straight out the tube from when we was in middle school. And it's just clear lip gloss. And I'm just packing that on top. I love how this look turned out. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe. Tell everyone you know to subscribe to my channel. Let's get me to 100 subscribers. And watch some of my other videos. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.